my name is Grace and welcome to Gre Get Juice Family. Today I'm doing a book review of the book Two Peas in a Pot, written by Sarah Milinowski in the series Whatever After. This is the New York Times best-selling series. The main character is Abby. She has a brother named jo jo Jonah and a dog named Prince. They're they have a secret. In their basement, there is a magic mirror that transports them into fairy tales. You might be wondering, how can a mirror send people into fairy tales? Well, you just need to knock on the mirror three times. The first knock, knock, it start, the mirror starts to hiss. The second time you knock, 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 it starts to turn purple. The third time you knock, 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 it starts to swirl. That means it is ready for people to go inside fairy tales. Abby, Jonah, and Prince go inside of the mirror. They land next to a swamp. Then an alligator starts chasing them. The alligator is from the swamp. They run until they see a castle. They knock on the castle. Knock, knock, knock. A handmaiden opens the castle. She says, what do you want? They say, we are wet. Can we spend the night here? She says, okay, you can come inside and eat something. They go inside. An, elder, an elderly couple is waiting for them. Their names are Lawrence and Minerva. They say, hello children, you can have some cookies and some milk. Please spend the night here. They eat and drink the things they have. Then they spend the night there. The problem is, they have to sleep on, on top of 100 mattresses. Jonah thinks it's cool, but Abby's worried. How would if they fall down? But Minerva puts a pea on top of the first mattress. So Abby has a hard time sleeping. In the morning, Lawrence asked them to, how did you sleep? Jonah said that he slept good, but Abby told, uh, I ha it was kind of uncomfortable. Lawrence explains why it was uncomfortable. Minerva says, since you felt the pee, that means you are a princess of Bog. Bog is their kingdom's name. Then Abby asks Minerva, why am I a princess just because I felt uncomfortable sleeping under a pee? Then Minerva explains that only a princess can feel the pee. So she is the princess. Abby thinks, uh, if I become princess, how will we go back home? But then she says, royal treatment? Royal dresses? I think I might get used to this royalty treatment. Then she says, Princess Abby at your service. Her two hours of royalty are awesome. She gets a bath, styles her hair, and tries 25 dresses. Then they have a ball in the evening. They are inviting all the neighboring kingdoms and the villagers. But the problem is, the kingdom of Bug, one of the neighboring kingdoms, has Prince Mitchell coming. He is very horrible and mean. But the ball turns out perfect. Ha Abby and Jonah dance and they have a wonderful time eating the food and doing stuff they like. Then, the next morning, Abby says, I can't be here for too long. We need to go home. She sets up a princess cost contest. The requirements for being princess of Bog is courage, kindness, and smartness. Then the final is the judging, or the selection. The first is the smart te smartness test. The girls who all part want to participate need to fill out an IQ test. It is a five page long test, and it's all about math and measurement about the kingdom. Then some people are kicked out and 10 people win. Next is the courage test. All the girls who are selected need to pass a swamp with alligators in it back and forth one time without drowning or getting eaten by cro crocodiles. Some people kicked out, some people win. The next is the kindness test. Abby gives the people who are selected each a coin, a gold coin, one gold coin. Then 
she goes inside the castle and dresses as an old poor woman. Then she comes back outside and asks them, can I have food? Can I have water? Can I have money? Can I have clothes? Two girls say, go away, old woman. But three, Wendy, Tulip, and Belly give her their coins. Then she dis she reveals her disguise and they say, Abby, it was you? Then she says, yes, you three passed because you gave me your coins. So that means you're kind. Three of them are going to get three of them in one of them three are going to be the queen but be only one belly wins the contest as the princess then wendy is her security guard and and tulip helps princess belly arrange parties and celebrations then abby gives the ball crown to belly she says since now you're the princess of Vogue, you're supposed to have the crown. Then she, Jonah, and Prince go back inside of the magic mirror and they're home again. They live happily ever after in their home and have many more adventures after that. I love the books in this series. They're so adventurous and they're so kind and it's girl and boy books. I ho really hope you read one of these stories. They're really good. Thanks for your time.